Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we have our sign-up page well taken care of. But what I need now is to create a navigation bar. So let's go back to our home page, which is this one, and let's start designing a nav of some kind. So the navigation is not part of the header because on the login page, we don't want to see the header, the, the navigation, for example. So we'll put it separate. So we'll put it inside the includes as well. So I'll right click on the includes new file, save that and save it as navigation. Or you can just save it as nav to save time dot view dot php. Great. So this navigation, if I go to home, I can now duplicate the thing on top here. And then in the includes, I will just call this nav like so. Very good. Now my navigation is part of the view. Let me move it here and I can just say from the nav so that we see if the nav is working. So I'll refresh from the nav and this is the content here. Okay, so pretty good. Now, instead of struggling with bootstrap classes, uh, trying to figure out which classes are which, there's this thing, there's this new thing called copy and paste. That's what we're going to use, right? So if you go to the documentation for bootstrap and click on components, you will see that there's a nav bar right here. Nav bar, yes. So this is the page for the nav bar. So all we have to do is look at the one that we like and copy and paste. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. So I, I like this one with the search bar, but I don't think we need the search at the top because we'll be searching very specific items. So our search bars are going to be a little bit lower down the page. And each page will have a search bar that searches for something entirely different than the previous. So it's not a good idea to put the search in the navigation. So what we will do instead is, uh, let's see here. Um, I kind of like this one, but I want one with a uh, drop down like this one right here. So you are the winner, my friend. So let's click copy there. And let's come down here and uh, paste. Yes, paste. Goody, goody. So save that and let's come back here. So you can read through all these, uh, what can be done here and there until you figure it out. So let's refresh and see. So now we have a navigation at the very top here. Very cool. The only thing is I want a little bit of padding on my, um, let me come back to the header of view. This one right here, the main one, I want a little bit of padding because things are just a little bit too close to the edge for me, but you may not want this yourself. So just, uh, this is optional for me. So 10 pixels should be fine. So I'm going to refresh that and there we go, 10 pixels. But that's not really what I wanted actually. I wanted the padding to be inside the uh, navigation itself. So what I will do is go to nav. Let's, treat, let's see if we can uh, edit this. So padding in the nav bar. So let's just say P4 uh, is too much. So let's put two there padding all around. Okay, that worked actually. So I have a little bit of padding here. That's nice. Then we have a drop down here that doesn't work. Look at that. So why doesn't the drop down work? And then if I click here, I'm using uh, Mozilla, you can find how to do that in Chrome, the responsive view. So in the responsive view, if I go like this, you see that it's very responsive. This is very nice. If I click here, I don't see any drop downs. This is tragic, isn't it? So let's see what's going on. So I think the first thing that we need to remember is that we need our, if I go to assets, I have the bootstrap JavaScript file, which we haven't included yet. So let me go to the footer.view right here before 
the last div. Really, you can put it anywhere, it doesn't really matter. I'll just put a script tag like so and then change this to root. Why is that a plus sign there? Root close and then go to assets and then slash bootstrap dot uh, min dot js. So we're getting the JavaScript uh, of bootstrap. So maybe that will help us to do certain things. So back here, refresh. Now we have some JavaScript. Let's see if it works and it does not. Let's zoom in or reduce the size. Click, nothing works. So why so, uh, why do things don't work here? Now, the thing is, like I said earlier, if things don't work, just Google them, right? And it turns out that uh, Bootstrap 5, which is what I'm using now, uh, changed their namespaces for these things. So here for data toggle, we have to put BS there like that, and here BS as well, and here as well, BS slash or dash like so. Okay, I don't know why they changed their namespaces, maybe to make everything uh, unique, but uh, who knows. So if I refresh now and click there, I still don't see uh, my content working, but let's see if uh, this will work. None of that is working. So let's inspect our element to see if there are any errors and we don't get any errors either. So it looks like we are stranded here. Let me see for a second, footer, uh, where is the header? Okay, okay, back to the footer. Okay, so this is the mistake that I made here. Instead of uh, type, it should be source, my bad. So this wasn't reading at all. So refresh, and if we click, now we have something cool going on. If I zoom in, click, loop, there we go. Awesome, isn't it? Yes, if you ask me. Okay, so let's change what we have at the top here. So the first thing we will change is, let me close this footer. Let's go to our nav. This is what we are here for. So here where it says nav bar, we're just going to say my school. Let's put a capital S there. And then I just want to add the logo as well. Now, I don't need to retype what I did with the logo. So just go to the login view, copy this image tag here and uh, copy that back to the nav and just put it right above the text. So I would do that. Okay. And move these boys a little bit in like maybe that was a bit too much. Okay, so we have the logo. Uh, we don't need these D block, auto, round circle. We don't need all that. We don't need a border as well, or maybe you do, but let's see how that looks like anyway. So there we are, we have our logo there. Maybe it's a bit too big. Let's change that to 75 pixels. That should be more acceptable. There we go. Let me remove it from the responsive view. There we go. So my school. Now, if you don't like the border, you can always remove it here. No problem. So let's just remove that. And let's put this maybe at 50 pixels. So it doesn't make the navigation too big. So there we go. My school. And we have these bad boys here. Let me zoom in a little. So let's change these links here. So the home should change to dashboard because let me remove all of this here dashboard because it will be a dashboard this is not a normal website and then let's add uh, a few more features for example hmm, we will need classes and we will need um, tests what else do we need classes t tests We'll need a forum as well, will we? No, not in this one, no, we won't need a forum. So we have classes, we have tests, we have here, drop down link. I want the user, this to be a user menu. Actually, let's use cup lock here, so 
it looks much better with capital letters so let's change that to uppercase classes to uppercase as well tests to uppercase wish i knew the shortcut to this and then here i want to um, let's see maybe the user can go to their profile and another action here what is this maybe they want to go to their dashboard maybe for some reason they can't click here they can click here and then we can put a logout boom i want a separator here between these two so let's go back to nav i'm sure one of these guys has a separator let's see here any of you have a drop down link do you yes this one does and they have a line nice so this is the divider it's called a divider okay so let's copy that divider and uh, let's put it here goody goody so back here and let's refresh so we have dashboard classes tests user drop down profile dashboard logout very cool okay so now we have these guys now if you want to be able to hover on these i think if i add active class here let's see Mm, dashboard for example in the classes and i add active it should show that this is the, oh it's already there right look at that active ah so it's a little bit darker than the others yes hmm i see i was beat to the punch there we go okay so no it doesn't seem to show at all why is that? So let me undo. Oh, I'm going way too far. I'll leave the active there for now. Okay. And then if you want to change this when you hover, you can add your own CSS. Uh, let me show you real quick what you can do. So if I add styles here, let's just say style. Okay. We don't need all that. So here i have i have to make sure that i specify the nav so that i don't interfere with other styles so it's nav and i don't want this a tag to be affected so i'm just going to say unordered list and list and uh, a uh, let's try um, hover like this so if I wanted to change color on a hover, I can say background color and just put that maybe at gray or something like this and then change the actual color to white like so. Okay, cool. So refresh and if I hover, that happens. But the color white isn't changing because Bootstrap is overriding all the classes. So when that happens, just put an exclamation point and say important then it will, make, it will prioritize your own style so as you can see now the white happens as i want okay so we have a navigation bar now and uh, we are good to go so i'll see you in the next video